All right. So I thought today I'd do something a little bit different. Well, not necessarily different, but anyway. So I thought I would make a series of installing different attachments, implements, whatever you want to call them, on the B10. I've got a fairly decent selection of things that we can mount on here. So today, probably my hardest implement to mount on the tractor, we're going to start out with, and that's my sweepster. So, pretty much what you're going to need, I got the way I do it. I'm not going to say it's what you need, it's what I need. Uh, I got my floor jack, jack stand, front PTO pulley with key. Uh, I'm going to use a rubber mallet probably. Probably end up going and getting more tools. Two pins. That's about all I should need. So let's uh, yeah, let's try to get this thing on here and see how this goes. So I am going to try to show you as much as I possibly can on mounting it. Um, it's kind of. I'm gonna zoom you in and mostly on that front end because it's where most of the stuff's gonna happen. So the first thing I like doing, this is the main lift rod, which is gonna slam right into my headlight. So I'm out here. That where it needs to be, you kinda line up the front hitch. definitely not going to say this is a how-to video because I've literally only mounted this sweepster once before. So, this is a, I'm going to try to make this work type video. I'm going to put the jack stand under this end because what happens if last time when I didn't do that, this end fell when I lifted this too high or something or another. But anyway, my, uh, Main drive shaft fell apart on the sweep for and I had to fight to put that back together. So now with that up there, I should. All right. So what I did, very simple. This is the main lift rod. I just made sure to run that down along the side of the tractor. I just got this that little stub supported with a jack stand now back your stand back just a little bit what I'm gonna do attempt to do Get my jack to roll on my dirty driveway. Alright, go right into that. Bracket right there. Basically what I'm doing is I'm doing the best possible lineup of these mark the hitch right here to the front of the tractor. Which I know this one kind of mounts a little goofy. 
but I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can. I know I'm gonna wobble you all over, but see, I just kind of push it in there. So, what I'm gonna do. shift this around too much I just kind of want to get it centered up on the front of the tractor and then basically what I need to do yeah, of course. there's holes in that there's holes in there I want to get that hole lined up with this bracket on the tractor so, I don't know how much. I'm gonna be able to see if this. The problem is I can't really. So close. It's like literally right between them. Yeah, now this is kind of a pain view to have you in. All right. I might have to kind of wiggle that brush around. If I remember correctly, one had to go be between. might have that hitch a little too high. Might be the problem. So I'm gonna try that out of there. Do. Let that down a little. Basically, you see this notch right here needs to go right up over the axle. So that's what I'm going to struggle and try to get up into position to begin with. So you guys can watch and laugh at me here. carriage to mount this thing on so I don't have to fight this every time yeah 
Yeah, I'm definitely not the first one to beat on this thing here. All right, just about up this side. Locked in. There we go. right in there the way it needs to be. Right. I mean you can barely it. Okay now. Put you on your side. So you can see that in there. Let's see if we can completely put you in the road. And get a pin in this thing. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's going to help. Because that will help hold this thing still. So that one slid right in. Right. Now, I just need to work on getting this lined up. bumming you guys around. <laughs> ha! There's that. Alright. Now. We can. Right with the jack. Here's the one here now. Okay, move over here. We don't need that anymore. Now, we'll go ahead and get. Now, this has got a modified hitch on it. This is not an original. The way the original hitch would have necessarily been, but it's close. A uh, gentleman I bought it from modified it and he did a phenomenal job. Of course. Alright, before you do that, make sure you take the tractor out of gear, huh? <laughs>
enough. We'll get that pinned in. Okay, so now. Basically, it's just my left adjustable. The back side, put a washer and a clevis pin. So, there she is hooked up. So now, we got a lifter. So we'll get that done. right in front of you. Next is the easy part. Just gonna put the PTO pulley on. And then we'll try this old bur girl out. Yeah, uh, first we're gonna pull the belt off of that I guess. So I'm out of there. All right, so I had a couple little rough burrs on it. I just went and hit them with a file real quick and cleaned them up. Now I'm probably getting right in your way. Let me try it from the other side. Alright. What I gotta do is get lined up in the keyway. So that's another reason I'm using a rubber mallet here. Even if I accidentally bump my grill, I'm not destroying my grill. And this, of course, has got a keyway in it as well, plus a second set screw. Of course, it's going to argue with me.
Probably should have cleaned this shaft up, but it was fairly clean. I uh, thought. Yeah, just a little further. All right. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking straight down you can see where that pulley has to runs off of the sweepster down there I'll make sure that when this pulley comes down that it's fast enough that it's going to allow that belt to flex and come up through there same way with this one so and that's about straight up and down there so now, we shall put the belt on and see what it looks like. Diane will go in the way you're bent. Will that make you happy? Cooperate with me. Work with me. Kind of a unique belt wrapping. Um, so, but you got belt down here, and it has to twist to go through this pulley. Up, down, around the bottom of this one, back around. I mean, it's fairly simple. And then it runs on the back side on that one so now I suppose since we did all of that what we probably ought to do is check out the operation of the sweeper itself huh <clears throat> 